Hello everyone and welcome to Taka Taka. This is a new game that just came out and it's a little bit of a different one from what I usually play, but it's one that I've been pretty excited to check out. Uh, I've had my eye on it for a while and uh, I just want to say a big congratulations to the team for getting it out and uh, thank you for giving me a key to check it out. Uh, I actually have a friend who worked on this game, so that's why I've been watching it for a while here and it's exciting that it's finally here. Uh, but before we jump in, I just want to preface this by saying this is again a little bit of a different style of game from what I usually play. It is actually a rhythm game, uh, so my commentary may be a little bit different because uh, rhythm games, I you kind of have to focus on them, and um, I'm generally either really good at rhythm games or really, really bad, and I don't know which this is going to be, so uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. But anyway, let's go ahead. We will jump right in and check out Taka Taka. And here we are. We have these kind of intro cinematic comic things. They're really cool. Uh, and a bit of the story here <laughs> uh, where we meet some of the characters. I've seen this first bit, uh, of course. Uh, we got a little bit of, little bit of conflict and uh, a little bit of... Um, a suspicious fellow over here who seems to be the source of uh, the shenanigans that are to follow. A spooky looking guy for sure. And some magic portals going on. And this is where we meet our protagonists. I'm curious to see how their relationship develops because it seems like uh, they're not exactly the best of friends starting out here. Uh, but... We find ourselves in quite the unknown world here, filled with monsters and a lot of chaos. Oh there! Who are you? You look like them yokai, but I sense something different about you two. Also, my pronunciation is not great, so I apologize if I am uh, not good at saying the Japanese names here. Forewarning, I, I will mispronounce things. <laughs> You must be here to help us, then. Listen, if you want to survive... All right, Tengu, you, the red one. That katana looks sharp enough to slice red enemies. And Oni, you, the purple one. You smash those armored purple enemies with your drumsticks. Also, try to avoid any gray enemies. You don't want to blow up. And here we go. So we've got a bit of a tutorial here. I'm going to go skip through this because I've actually already done this. Uh, but basically, we're going to be swapping around between these tracks and uh, trying to try, try to fight enemies to the beat here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And we'll see if I remember the controls here. <laughs> so basically, we move around, hop back and forth like this. And in a second here, we should have, yep, our first enemies start to show up and like I, I I really only heard this whoops <laughs> I always do that really only heard this first bit of music but so far it seems very very good which is you always want the music to be strong for a rhythm game and this has been very 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 fun music so far and good sound effects to go with it This first bit is not too, too bad, but it starts to get more complex. And uh, I've heard that it gets harder than this, <laughs> so we'll see. All right. Starting to have to be a little faster with some of those swaps. And here we go. Oh, that's not where we're going. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez, this is going to be a little bit of a more fast pace. There we go. All right, and I think that's first level cleared. Yes, indeed, victory. We got 100%. I am highly expecting to not continue that hit rate, but you know what? I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, and here we are. 
So let's go ahead. We'll keep moving forward. And uh, this is the only level that I played in advance. So from here on out, uh, I'm just as long for the ride as y'all are. Let's see what the story holds. Oh boy. Okay, so we're still in the village with our new watermelon friends. Oh, this is faster paced already. That's a gray enemy. We don't want to hit those. Oh my word. <laughs> it does in fact get harder. Ah! Oh, ah! nope, that's not right. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Nope. <laughs> Okay. I'm starting to get the, the, the beat of it a bit more. Ah! That's not good. <laughs> okay. Ooh, good grief. Okay. Ooh, almost got exploded. <laughs> it's fine. Oh no, I switched too soon. Actually gonna die. <laughs> oh no! So like this is what I said about I'm either very good at rhythm games or very very bad. <laughs> All right. Now that we've gotten our first epic failure out of the way, let's go ahead and try that one again, and hopefully do a little bit better now that we know what to expect. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Nope. I'm not doing well. Oops. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh no. What's interesting is that this game has kind of more of an implied rhythm where like, oh dear, you have to figure out, I'm not, I'm gonna, get not gonna live this. Oh, good grief. <laughs> what I'm saying is that you have kind of an implied rhythm. It doesn't, like, you have to figure out the beat of your swaps. It's kind of interesting, like the swapping, like, I don't know how to explain explain it compared to normal rhythm games. Normal rhythm games, or typical rhythm games, you're hitting a button in time with the beat. Here you have to figure out how to switch your positioning. So you are hitting the buttons in time to the beat, but you're, it, it, it's, it, it's different, but it's the difference between doing something on an action and setting up for the action in time. It's kind of hard to put into words. Uh, I like it. It's a really cool twist on the genre, but also, holy heck, <laughs> I am so not used to this. Let's go ahead and give this another run. I think we got it. <laughs> I think we got it. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. By the way, by the way, this is normal difficulty. This is the lowest difficulty. <laughs> we really could play this on a higher difficulty and try to 100% everything and like, holy smokes, I think I would have to like literally train for months to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I really like the the way that they do this where it's kind of yeah, it, it, it's 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 really interesting how it plays with the on and off beats. I don't know how to describe it, but it, it feels different than just press button and time with music. And it's really interesting. I think it's a really unique twist on it. Uh, but anyway, whew. If that's level two, I'm really scared by what the next levels are going to bring. But let's go ahead and see what level three is like. Okay. We're still in the village. Oh, it's even faster. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! Nope. Oh, y'all. We are going to have our work cut out for us here. I have a bad time when there's multiple moves in a row. Oh, jeez. No, not these heckers again. Nope. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay, this is the farthest that I've made it on this level. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oops. Oh, dear. Ah! Oh, no. Good heavens. <laughs> this music is a banger, by the way. I can't focus on it because I'm focusing so hard on it. Oh! Do we live? We survived! We saved the village! I don't feel like we did a very good job of it, but we did save the village! We got the achievements! Oh, man! So rhythm games are really hard sometimes! <laughs> good heavens! Alright! Well... I kind of feel like I want to go back and try to do these levels a little bit better because I think we just finished the chapter. We've got a little bit more time in this episode, so I think we'll try to clear these a little bit more. Yeah, I think I, I, I want to I want to feel like I've done good. <laughs> so we're going to try some of these levels again. OK, level two, here we go.
I think I missed two. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Felt kind of like a walk in the park after the previous level. You know what? 97% A+, plus, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's give level three one more try. I want to do better than I did. <laughs> Oh, it's doing well. No! Oh, dear. Whoo! Okay. The end got a little dodgy there, but that was all right. 93. It's above a 90. That's a passing grade. I mean, I, well, I would have been a B, a B is a passing grade, too, but it's an A. <laughs> oh, we. Okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to leave on a victory, I think. Uh, this has been Taka Taka, the first chapter of it, at least. Let me know if you want to see more, because I will definitely be playing more. I've really enjoyed this, honestly, and I want to see where the rest of the story goes. Uh, again, uh, congratulations to the team for getting this out. Uh, Y'all did a fantastic job on it. I really like the spin that it puts on the genre. Again, like I'm struggling a little to explain it, it, it's interesting how it plays with the space between beats rather than the straightforward of press this button in this time. Like it's 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 about being in the right place for the beat. And often that does have you moving on the beat, but it's really it's an interesting thing that I haven't really seen a lot of rhythm games do. And I mean, I haven't played a ton of rhythm games, but it's different from the ones that I've seen. And I really think it's a very fun spin on the genre, but uh, it's hard. <laughs> and I, I want to get better at this. I want to improve. But like, holy smokes, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all made a challenging game. And I, I think that's good. I think it's fun. But I am going to have to practice to get better at this. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even though it is a little bit of a departure from the norm. I had a lot of fun with it, nonetheless. Uh, and I hope you guys did, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out Taka Taka as well. It's uh, going to be linked in the video description. But I will see you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay. Over and out.